Adipose tissue or fat-derived stem cells are a very modern and new approach to both aesthetic as well as general medicine, including orthopedic applications. The important thing about adipose tissue or fat-derived stem cells is that they are actually quite different from the stem cells we can harvest from blood or bone marrow, for instance. They are multipotent and a mixture of the stromovascular component, which is the other tissues around the fat tissue, creates pluripotent type of stem cells. This combination is high in stem cell count as well as growth factors, which are very important for the development of new tissue. We are harvesting the adipose tissue stem cells using a surgical technique, something like a liposuction basically, and we extract the fat tissue from the donor area. The adipose tissue is then processed using special equipment and tools to break down the actual fat cell components into smaller fractions, including the adipose tissue stem cells as well as the stroma vascular component. There are two types of adipose tissue derived stem cell treatments. One is utilizing microfat and the other one is using nanofat. The microfat is usually typically used to build volume or create volume in lines and wrinkles and volume loss in aesthetic treatments and cosmetic treatments, for instance, for very hollow cheeks, for deep wrinkles and lines. And the nanofat is where we take that through another process, breaking it even into smaller components of the stromovascular fraction and the adipose tissue stem cells without the fat cells. This is ideal for more orthopedic application, like in injuries, especially of joints where the cartilage or bone or tendons might be involved. The beauty of adipose-derived stem cells, especially in aesthetic treatments or even in orthopedic treatments, is that we can combine them with other existing treatments that are also scientifically approved and support it. For instance, when you do an adipose tissue stem cell treatment of the face, you can also still combine that with your use of Botox or with your hyaluronic acid fillers and even with your polyalactic acid fillers like Sculptra. In orthopedic treatments, you can combine that still with your surgery or enhance surgical effects post-surgery to optimize the function of that area. So as you can see, adipose tissue stem cells are certainly something to focus upon, especially for the future in medicine.